The last couple of weeks have really surprised me. It's just amazing how much progress can be made. We have a floor system, a wall system, and now we're ready to actually get the roof trusses up. Today we'll be using engineered roof trusses to build the roof system. This is just one of over 50 different profiles that we have here on the job site. What's nice about that is these are already pre-built. That means they'll be able to be assembled and installed very quickly. The builder doesn't have to build anything on site. Additionally, what's really nice is I am in the heart of Wisconsin and we get pretty cold winters here. So all of these were engineered to handle the heavy snow loads. Golden Eagle engineers each home specifically to meet or exceed the local building code. So whether it's an earthquake zone, hurricane, or heavy snow load area, every home, including the roof system, is designed for your area. In addition, Golden Eagle has created a high-performance energy truss. Conventional trusses have a cold spot where no insulation can be added. But with Golden Eagle's energy truss, insulation can be added over the top of the wall. A draft stop is also added, which allows for a well-ventilated, yet draft-free attic. Next, the crew begins building the roof overhang. Zach has chosen a stepped, craftsman-style overhang. This not only adds style to the home, but also protects it from the elements with its generous three and four foot overhangs. With the roof framing complete, the crew starts to add roof sheathing. Today, another delivery has been made as the shingles, house wrap, and more have arrived on site. The crew applies the weather-resistant house wrap to keep the home warm and dry. Meanwhile, the roofing crew begins the work up top. They start applying the ice and water underlayment. Golden Eagle provides this waterproof shield, which prevents damage caused by ice dams and heavy rain. It is generously applied to the eaves and valleys of the roof. Next, they add a layer of recycled synthetic roof liner, which is 25 times stronger than traditional roof felt. The concrete crew has arrived on site and they begin pouring inside the garage and basement. The tubing for the heated garage and basement floors will now be covered. Once the concrete cures, they will connect the tubing to the boiler. Today we're installing the boiler. The boiler is going to heat the in-floor heat in my basement as well as in the garage. It'll also heat the hot water that runs through the home. And then it's also heating the air exchange. So the forced air that goes through the home, that air is also being heated up by that boiler. The house is now ready for the next step, the covered porch. Like the roof system, the porch is also designed to withstand heavy snow loads. To finish off the deck, Golden Eagle supplies a treated, custom hand-hewn trim board to match the half-log texture on the rest of the house. Now, the covered porch has many similarities to the overhangs that are above the garage doors, as well as on the back side of the garage. See, these overhangs have beautiful timber rafters supporting them and I've got two by six decking that I want to put above it. And that two by six decking then would support a metal roof. And that metal roof is then going to accent off of the shingles. In addition to the eaves and valleys, all low sloped roofs are covered 100% and waterproofed. The steel roof will be added later. Inside the garage, the crew is busy assembling Zach's unique three section tall garage doors. With its triple layer steel construction, these insulated doors provide an incredible R-value of 13. 
Zach's doors also feature Wi-Fi connectivity, so he can control it anywhere from his phone. Inside the basement, the crew is framing up the utility room. Zach plans to someday finish off the basement and has added a secondary staircase for easy access directly from the garage. At the bottom of this stair, we have a nice landing down here. That way, if you're bringing in a sheet of plywood or some, uh, some drywall, it, it's not a problem. We don't have any issue with headroom or anything like that. We also have the future bathroom plumbed out. So I already have a general layout of what I'm thinking for the future bathroom. And it's important that since we have concrete work in here, that we already have the drain figured. So we've got a drain area figured for a, a future shower, as well as the future toilet, and then for a future sink. The next day, the maintenance-free windows are installed. To complement the craftsman style of his house, Zach chose to have grids installed in his windows, along with a brown exterior to match the stain. What's really nice about these window wells is they're allowing a lot of natural light into the basement. Pairing that with the high nine foot ceilings, it really feels spacious down here. It feels like a continuation of what's upstairs. The windows have been framed in with massive four inch thick by 12 inch wide hand hewn trim. Decorative custom timber brackets are added to the covered porch and the railings will be added later. The home's exterior is ready for the next step. Applying the 12 inch tall double hewn half log timber trusses, cedar shingles, and more. Subscribe and follow along as Zach's dream home becomes reality.